Hey there, I am Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. Welcome back on my channel, Parth Doshi Learning by Doing. So this is going to be another video on UI Path apps. So till now, the videos which I have uploaded in that we saw, how can a single user use a particular app? So many times in comments and personally as well, I got a doubt that how can we allow multiple users to use that app or to execute that app? So there is one question which has been coming up many times. So I thought, why not find a solution for that and make a video on that? So in this video, we are not going to build any app, but we are going to use the app that I've built in my previous videos on UiPath apps. And we are going to see how can we allocate different users to allow to use that app through their orchestrator login. So we are going to see complete that process. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so as we all know, this is our simple cloud portal where we go cloud.uipart.com. Now, this is my main ID where I have actually built the app. So, if you can see over here, the email ID is parthdoshi244 at the gmail.com. So, what I'm going to go is I'm going to go to apps, and you see there are many apps built over here. But what I want is I want to give the access of this dashboard app to my another email ID. So how can I do that? So for that, the first step is to go to the admin option. Let it load. So once you go to the admin option, you need to go to users and groups. After going to users and groups, you need to click on invite user to whom you want to give the apps access. After that, you need to type the email ID of that person over here which I've already done. So I'm not doing it again, but I'm just explaining you the steps. After that, you can give him as an automation user only or automation developer if you don't want to make him an admin because he will have access to your complete this cloud portal as well. So you can give him as an automation user. And after that, you need to click on this invite button. So let me just enter a valid email ID. I'm not going to click on that. So as you can see, after I've entered the correct email ID and I've selected automation user. So because it is my email ID only, I have given all the three options to myself. But you can select automation users, developers or administrator, whatever is your choice. And after that, you need to click on this invite. Now, once you have clicked on this invite, the other user will receive some, this kind of email. You are invited to join the UiPath automation cloud and accept invite. Now, before that, what you need to do is you need to again go to apps. Okay. But first you add the user through your admin panel and send the person invite. After that, you go over share. The app which you want to share, just go to the three dots option as you can see menu option and click on. As you can see, I clicked on share. After that, you click on add user and you your search type type the email id that you had assigned before now why is it not coming because i've already done it as you can see over here i've already added the email user can run co-author user can edit and run so there are two different so what i will do is i will change the permission over here co-author so now the user whom i'm giving the access he can not only run <coughs> sorry he can not only run from his crowd portal but as well as he can edit my app. So this is how you click on add user and here the only users will appear whom you have added through your admin pane in your user and group and given the permissions. If not, then you can't do that over here. So once you have par doshi one at zero, right now it's not coming because the user is already up assigned and then you need to click on add. Now you see app needs to be republished for newly added users. So since I've changed the permission, I'm just simply going to publish it again. And now I'm going to go to my apps. So now what I will do is I will log out from my this portal and I will log in into my other email ID portal. So let me go to this log out. And now I will use my another Gmail ID to log in to whom I have send the invite you can see over here the email id is pardoshi180 
So going over here, continuous Google. And this is my email ID that I'm going to log in now. And here I will see that app access as well as I will be able to edit only the dashboard app and not the others app because I don't have access to that. So now you see there are two options which I'm getting. This is the self-employed which I have sent the invite and this is this one. So I'm going to go to my, okay. I had to go on the up one. Oops, no problem. We'll do it again. So now you see apps over here. This apps are also there, but I have only the run access and here I can edit as well. So this is how you can add a co-owner. You can add a user who can only run the app. So now if I run this app from my side, it will get executed and we will be seeing that in the UI path assistant. Now you see the app is completely published on other account and on other orchestrator, but we'll try to run it from here. So let me just quickly run this app. And let's see whether we are able to get the output or not, or if we are facing any problem. So notebooks, and I'm going to click on search. So now, okay. Okay, so the process could not be run. Okay, I think I'm having some net problems maybe. Let's try to execute this if we are able to do it. Okay, yeah, I get it why we are not able to do it. I will tell you all guys one second. Okay. This is not getting executed because here in assistant, I have my other orchestrator logged in. I need to put the orchestrator of the one that I'm using currently. So my assistant also should be of the other user where I'm trying to execute the app. Then it will work fine. But if you have not logged in with the other email ID in your orchestrator, it won't work. So this is the one changes that we need to make. I'm not making it right now because I've already tested it before and actually I will have to change my machine key and everything as well. So this is the thing. Once you change the assistant email ID and machine key, you will be able to run it successfully because the orchestrator should be connected to your apps when executing it. So when you run it, you will be able to execute the complete app. So this is how we can give the permission to the user. Same app permission can be given to multiple user. You can give different levels of access as we saw. We can give user access who can only run. We can give a co-owner access who can as well as edit the app. So this is the major way, or you can say this is the simplest way to give access of your UiPath apps to different user. I hope you gained some knowledge. Sorry, I couldn't show the demo of executing with other email ID. The video will get too long and I will have to uh, change my credentials as well. But if you face any problem, you can definitely contact me and I'm sure this way will work. Thank you for watching the complete video.